Hey gang, Lindsay's Geeked Out Knickknacks is having a contest. She wants to know a comic that we've passed up, but then we realized, oh, I shouldn't have passed that up, I should have picked it up. Well, my pick is this beat piece of feces, Action Comics 598, the first appearance of Checkmate. I have most of the John Byrne Superman books, but I'm missing a couple, and this was one of them. But I only realized it after the CW made these crappy DC Neo keys bounce. So anytime I saw it in a store or at a show, they'd be asking 10 or 15, and I was like, forget you you pal. I don't care if Checkmate gets his own web series or becomes a worldwide Harley Quinn style sensation. I'm not paying real money for something you just pluck from a dollar box. Well eventually I saw this exact copy in the Kitchener warehouse in their dollar bin and I had the same basic emotional response as seeing a near mint ten dollar copy. I'm not paying that much for junk. I don't need it in minty condition because I'm just gonna read it but I don't want junk. Well maybe a month later I was back in the warehouse and they had dumped this in the quarter bin because in the basement they've got three three dollar, one dollar, and quarter books, and books that don't sell at one price point are shoved into the lower price point. And I still didn't want this crappy copy, and so I just resigned myself to never finding it. And of course, on my way home, I'm thinking, eh, I probably should have picked it up. And the next time I went there, it was still there, because there's no lower price point to dump it, and of course no one bought it. And I grabbed eight other quarter books, because they always round down to the nearest dollar. And of course, on that day, they wanted exact change, so I paid a whole quarter for this. And of course, I checked my collection. This wasn't one of the ones I was missing. I actually already had this one. Also, I won Mr. Miracle Comics Contest, and I received the prizes yesterday. They include Thor 339, the first appearance of Stormbreaker, Infinity Gauntlet number 1, the first appearance of Thanos' devastating snap, and Silver Surfer number 44, one of the last books I need to complete my Silver Surfer collection. It'll, it's also the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. And, and, Mr. Miracle also included this snazzy Bernie Wrightson Master of the Macabre promo hologram and these unopened Betty Page in black lace trading cards. Just like Betty, these sealed cards are a real tease. Should I peel them open? Ooh! Leave your thoughts in the comments below. So thank you to Mr. Miracle Comics. Thank you for these prizes. I'll have your link in the description. And thank you to Lindsay's Geeked Out Knickknacks for holding this contest. I'll have your link in the description and at the end of the video. Also, this is my 100th video. That means that 100 times my usual video length uh, I've provided almost 38 minutes of content. Oh, so many memories. And the one question I get asked most often is, what, what, what is it with all these context videos? What, what are you, destitute? And you're hoping for prizes that you can flip? What are, what's with these context videos? And to them, I ask, what? are your three favorite X-Men villainesses. Wait, before you answer that, turn on a camera and answer in as much or as little detail as you want and you have a video. All I do is answer questions and show books. I don't have to sit and generate video ideas. I don't have to buy a constant flow of books to do haul videos. I don't have to read a bunch of stuff that I don't want to read to do reviews. People ask comic collecting related questions in their contests or they ask you to show books. I answer those questions, I show the books, and I have a video. Do it a hundred times and you have a hundred videos. It's just that easy.